Welcome back to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up here. We can make it so you can find me at Mika underscore Kenya everywhere. And of course, DJ Lil Russian is waiting for your request at its DJ Lil Russian on every social media platform. In the morning, we had an interesting discussion about the sports situation and mm -hmm. sports gambling in Kenya in general. And we asked the question, do you think sports gambling should be banned in Kenya? You can let us know on East Circuit and Y254. Until then, our next interview is Abby Miki. She's a gospel artist, 23 years of age, <laughs> very mm -hmm. young, but not young, you know, at heart, because, you know, the message within the songs, you can actually tell there's something she's, uh, you know, it's spiritual in its own way. Like the latest song uh, we're about to premiere today, it's called Nyota Yangu. Until then, uh, would you please introduce yourself? <laughs> sure. So my name is Abby Miki. I'm born again. I love the Lord Jesus as my personal savior. And as you said, I'm 23 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thank God so far. I uh, started singing last year. I released Lifter and Bilawewe. And right now I have Nyotayangu. It's on YouTube. And uh, literally, I am a journalist by mm. profession. And yeah, that's all. Uh, if I may ask you, mm -hmm. uh, w what attracts you to the gospel music industry? Because right now, as in we can see what's going on, uh, people are skeptical about our gospel artists in mm -hmm. Kenya. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you scared of that situation? I can't say I'm scared because uh, really, when you want to sing gospel, it, it just doesn't come like that. Mm. Uh, you, you just have, you, you, you have a call. Gospel music is like a call. You don't just wake up and decide to sing gospel. Mm. But I see in between, there's a lot of things that happen that draw people away from God. And you know, being money-minded in the gospel industry will kill your ministry. But if you're doing it for God and you're really sure that in your heart you mean gospel, mm and you have that passion for people. You won't, you won't like, allow yourself to mess up the picture of Christ. Do you feel like that's the situation uh, within the gospel industry in Kenya? Is it the being money-minded, or is it being swayed by the world, or by the world, by the, the way world. the scripture says? Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, well, I can say there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Uh, there are people who want to perform in clubs mm. to get money there there's a lot of things that gospel music okay gospel artists want to do just because they they, they want to get some money you know they, they say that ministry has no money so mm. they'll go to where there is money so that causes the shift all of a sudden so i won't say they are money minded i'll say that it's pressure mm. most of the people are going through depression but they most of these gospel artists they they have depression you you won't just ignore the fact that somebody is behaving in such a manner mm. and feel that they are okay mm. or they are comfortable Th there's with There's something that. definitely there's wrong. There's something deep inside that is hurting them. Mm. Probably they are struggling with funds. You want to maintain your image mm. and you don't have money, so you'll have to go the extra way, you know. But I think things. that's a slippery slope because, you know, even from our earlier interview with KS, he's been in the music industry from 2004. Mm -hmm. And uh, he admitted, like, image and brand is a very essential part of being an artist or an entertainer mm -hmm. uh, in any industry, in any, you know, any country. Mm -hmm. So trying to put up that image, you have to do it. But you're also telling me uh, having to do it gives you pressure. So how, do you know how you, you will be able to navigate so that you don't feel that pressure? <laughs> I said, first, uh. you're talking about gospel music, yes. right? When you're talking about gospel music and you're doing purely ministry, yeah. there is no pressure. There's no pressure. No, no, no. no. Uh. You, you won't tell me that you're having pressure and there is no one you're trying to please. Mm. Okay, literally keeping your image and everything requires money, yes. But all this you can get if truly you're in the ministry. I don't think you can serve God and lack money. Mm. I don't think so. So let's say this, this I won't call it <laughs> urban music, gospel, urban, contemporary music. Contemporary. Yeah. I'll say there's a lot of pressure mm. in that circle. There's 
really a lot of pressure. And that is why you, you'll feel like it's like gospel is being deviated from this to this. Mm. No, if you mean ministry, you cannot deviate because there is nothing you're afraid of. Mm. But if you mean, you know, keeping your image and you're avoiding frustrations, protecting your, your image, that, that, that will mean a lot of mm. investment in just, just you. Just the, the image, image part. You know, how you appear before your peers. Yeah. Now, in terms of all that, uh, you know, help mm -hmm. uh, navigating the music industry, mm -hmm. you know, not just as a ministry, being able to navigate, because it's, you know, it's work. And you need profit out of it, yeah. basically. You, you know, you can't just do it for free or for fun, right? So is there someone you're looking up to in the industry at the moment? Someone you're like, I want to be like this person, or I want to emulate this person in my career path? Well, I look up to many people. Mm. I, I, I personally admire Andeni, mm. and I really love Masika. Masika, mm. Masi Masika. Yeah. Mm. So. What about her? I I love her music, mm. and she is. She is flexible in genres. She can do, almost all genres comfortably. About Andeni, I love how she sings. I mm. love, I love the way she, you know, projects her voice. She's simple, yeah. Mm. Since last year when you joined the industry, mm -hmm. have you faced any challenge uh, thus far? Oh, and I love size eight. And size eight. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm afraid to get into that because, no, you know, no, no, there no. was a yeah, shift. I, 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 uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> shift. I'm afraid to get into that. No, let's talk about me. <laughs> Because there was a shift and that, that's another whole conversation. Mm, mm -hmm. I know. But before that, um, mm. you know, uh, we were talking about you, your inspirations and who you aspire to be, yeah. who you, you would like to emulate. And now in terms of content, you, you're telling me, if you, if you view it as a ministry, then you never lack. Yeah. But now content creation, you know, what inspires you? What inspires your music, your lyrics? The word of God. The word of God. Experiences mm. and inspirations from the whole. Come on, Nyota Yangu. Yeah. Nyota Yangu uliandika with what in mind exactly? Uh, I, I was, you know, I was, I used to live with some girl, mm. my friend, she's Annette. And then I was telling her, you know, there come a time and then you will shine, you know. So my inspiration came from this chick. I was looking at her life. She was always complaining you know when will the time of god you know reach to me and then i was telling her there'll come a time and, mm. and then you'll shine don't just look at me as some super icon look at yourself as somebody who is going to you know burst in the future you're going to explode and then i was telling her stop like telling yourself that you cannot make it because she had that in her tongue i was telling her don't keep on saying that i cannot do this i cannot do this Try and confess positive. Mm. Tell yourself that your star is going to shine one day. Mm. And that is how things went. I wrote this song. Just from a conversation, yeah, that's yeah. how you came up with we the lyrics. We used to talk a lot about that. Yeah. And then I, I had some tune playing. And I wrote the song. Nice. Mm. Uh, before we play it, uh, DJ Led Russian is about to queue it up. Uh, do you mind you know, giving us a preview <laughs> of Nyata Yangu? Your favorite part of the song. Okay. Mama Juzi wa mashariki waliona nyota angani wakaifuata. Oh, 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 wakambata mwana anadekezo na mama na baba wakapiga magoti wakasujudia. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm? <coughs> Russian. Why is my no, not me. Huh? Why is he my Are, are you feeling the vibes? <laughs> 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 nice, you really have a beautiful voice. Have you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, how did you foster that talent? Uh, is it the same story that we always hear with gospel musicians? Were you in Sunday school, then went mm, to choir, choir then, then all of a sudden choir. started recording somehow? Or? Mine is quite different. Oh. Uh, I woke up one day. And I heard Chibalonza. Chibalonza, Angela? Yeah, mm -hmm. singing a certain song. I can't really remember it. And then 
I, I, I had this relationship with God. It was, it was like a father to me at that time, like really close. I would talk anything to him. So I told God, I want a voice like that. And if at least you can, you know, <laughs> change it a little bit, add some, you know, some spice in it, I really appreciate. Like I talked it like a joke. I don't know how when I went to school and the teacher, I went late to school, so I was given a punishment of singing. So I started singing and everybody was quiet. So I, I, in my mind I was telling myself, you really sang too bad or too good. So from then I said I won't stop. Mm. But I was a little bit scared because I didn't know whether I'm singing good or bad. So I, when I went to high school, that is when everything changed. And all of a sudden, my dad became a pianist. My mom sings so well. So I emulated the two of them. Mm. Yeah. What's your favorite instrument? His is the piano. My What's favorite yours? is piano. Piano as well? Yeah. Nice, nice. So what's uh, next for you in the gospel music industry? Oh, <laughs> well, a lot is expected uh, in terms of new releases and all that and uh say before the end of this year i'll be releasing one song not two just one okay e yeah it's almost ready almost ready just a video and then it's out any collaborations there you know are. you said earlier <laughs> you want to you know you want to end it with masi masika yeah what if you had an opportunity to work with her oh that would really mean a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I have collaborations, but I can't talk about them right now. Why can't you talk about them right now? Because I just want them to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what does every artist do? Yeah, if you want, want to surprise me. Yeah. You just want to surprise mm -hmm. us. But you promise it's going to be Yeah, it's good. going to be really soon. And mm -hmm. it's going to be good. Mm. Nice, yeah, so, uh, okay. we're waiting for that. In mm. anticipation, mm -hmm. where can we subscribe and uh, find you online? Well, I'm um, Abby Miki on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. A-B-B-E-Y-M-I-C-K-E-Y. -E -E and uh, <clears throat> on Instagram, I'm Abby Miki Official. And mm. on YouTube, all my songs are right there. You can find them there and some podcasts. So you want to subscribe. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for coming through. We wish you nothing but the best. And I think, you know, there's mm -hmm. some big sisters of yours in the gospel industry that could learn a thing or two from you. Yeah. And I think you know that. <laughs> you know, she's, views, she's viewing it as, an, as, a, as a ministry. They're viewing it as, you know. It's business, money, I just say business, money. Mm -hmm. Just something different. <laughs> uh, just something serving different. Serving God is about serving God. Mm. You don't expect mm. much. Mm -hmm. But when you fail to expect much, when you just relax, God meets you in a surprise. Mm -hmm. You don't need to keep anticipating for money every time. If you become money-minded, God gets out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Shaskia. Eh, who said I'm money-minded? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Abby Nyotayangu.